welcome to this video guys in this video we are going to make this main support and in our upcoming videos we are going to assemble this in this scotch yoke mechanism so let's begin open a part file guys click on part click ok change the background to plain white this is an optional thing but make sure to select unit as mmgs because we are working in millimeters click on top plane click on sketch and then select a center line make a vertical straight center line guys and then select a midpoint line guys because this is going to be symmetric about this vertical line now select the smart dimensioning tool and specify the length of this line guys specify here 65 millimeters now press control button from your keyboard select these two points and the straight vertical line make relation as symmetric make an inclined line like this guys and now select smart dimensioning tool select these two lines in order to specify the angle between these two lines this is going to be 75 degrees now i want to mirror this line about the vertical line so select mirror entities here in this window i will select this line mirror about definitely this vertical line and this line is automatically mirrored so i don't need to uh, make that line again so select here guys three point arc one point two point three point right now press control button select this arc select this line make relation tangent again press control button select this arc select this line make relation as tangent now select smart dimensioning tool guys from this point to this line here i want to specify the vertical height so this is 75 millimeters guys and now we are only left with the circle guys so make a circle here and specify the diameter of the circle as 15 this is going to be a hole here by the way we i will show you when it's going to be extruded so 15 millimeter dia extruded boss base and uh, 10 millimeter extrusion is fine for me by the way we can change it uh, so here i need to specify uh, some color some appearance you can specify any appearance this is an optional thing guys so this appearance looks fine to me you can specify any color you like select this face click on sketch guys and here i want to make a center line because i missed out the center point so here from this point to this center point a center line has been made and now i want to make a center rectangle so find out the midpoint and make a rectangle this is by the way center rectangle from this line to this line here i want to specify the dimension as seven from this line to this line definitely this dimension would be a bit larger because i want to adjust the bolt size as well so 10 mm is fine extruded boss base guys one more time and here i want to specify some lesser value eight millimeter would be fine you can specify any value you like we can change it by the way after making even so uh i want to make holes because i definitely want to insert some bolts so uh, click on sketch here and here's some center line guys these these are for reference so make a center line like this one more time find this uh midpoint and make a vertical center line these are definitely going to be used for the reference points so i will explain you uh, how these are going to be referenced so now make a circle here all right so delete this line vertical line again make a line since i want a midpoint so from this midpoint to this midpoint make a line and here mid of this line is my reference point so these center lines are great reference. press control button guys this center of the circle and this center line make relation as midpoint and here we go the circle is at the center now press control button select this vertical line at the circle and then make relation tangent so that's how these 
relations are very important now specify the diameter of this circle guys 5 millimeter is fine because i want 5 millimeter bolts now select mirror entities and mirror about this vertical line again guys these center lines are great references one two mirror about this reference line so hope it makes sense to you that these lines are great references extruded cut guys because i want to cut holes and make sure to th select through all because i want through holes completely cut it done and now i think we are left with the fillets so select here the fillets and then one by one select these corners one two three and four the radius of the fillet i can define it from here so i think 10 mm is much more so 8 mm is fine these are the fillet guys select fillet again and here select this face and i think two millimeter would be fine two millimeter radius delete this face select this corner i think 2 mm is too much so specifier 1 i think 1 mm radius is fine so select these corners we have another option guys as well when you select it this bar appears and here we have the option to select anything since i do not want to select the bottom uh, fillers guys so i would select this option and this is filleted now select this circle and the first option fillet of other side is automatically been done select this one and select this first option and we are left with the fillet of the holes so select this hole and the definitely again first option or you can go with the second option and uh, we are almost done there guys so this is our part we are definitely going to be uh, assemble it in our upcoming tutorials so uh, i want you to watch the rest of the tutorials as well guys save this part as main support see you in the next video guys